everyone i hope that you're really well um it's been about a week since my last video so i thought i would upload a new one because it's also only one week until i'm moving out to university so i thought that i would do a everything that i'm taking to university with me video i've seen a couple of dorm hauls on YouTube so I thought that I would make one of my own and I'm pretty sure that this will apply to universities across the globe. I'm going to a university in England, I'm going to Cambridge University but I'm pretty sure that this will apply to all the universities. I've also made a couple of like uni checklists so I'll put those in the description and links back to like clothing hauls and like more in-depth hauls that I have done they'll also go down in the description. So without further ado let's get on with the video. So I wanted to start with the most fun thing possible, which is definitely food. Let's start, I have an array of spicy things including these jalapeno crisps, some Tyrol crisps, and a hot chilli sauce, as well as some ketchup chips, because they are just superior crisps. I have a massive amount of noodles and pasta, including these barfari from Sorrento, which just looks so Wes Anderson-y that I can't actually purchase them, even though they're a little bit pricey, but I think they'll just put a smile on my face at uni. Obviously I have a whole host of teas as well, so I have two massive boxes of Earl Grey and a chamomile tea as well. I also have some like little shortbread that I picked up um, when I was travelling back from King's Cross. And I have this VS bag of absolutely lovely, lovely treats, including a million types of naked gods because I thought they'd be really handy for my uni bag. Some lints. This one has already been half eaten and it will probably be finished before I actually go, but it is just incredible, so I had to. Um, some little lints, some pecan nuts and some stock cubes as well. The final food items that I have brought with me are some cereals. So I have some very special K and some peanut crunchy nut cereal. Along the same line as that, I also bought a Brita water filter and some water filter refills just in case the water is a bit hard and it just makes it nice and clean. They're also pretty amazing because they should last between like six and eight weeks. So that just means that I'll take just one refill with me because this one should last the whole duration of Michaelmas term. Things that will be going in the kitchen are obviously my plates, bowls, and my absolutely gorgeous little London Cat Kids and Mug, which I am obsessed with. I think it is just the prettiest thing ever. A Russell Hubs travel kettle. You're not supposed to take a real kettle, so I'm just taking this absolutely tiny one. Um, and also my kitchen already has a kettle in it, so this is a just-in-case kettle. I'm taking some Sainsbury's storage box Tupperwares, just in case, just store food in or other things like that. I'm taking an array of pans, including this tiny one, which is good for like boiling milk or cooking pasta sauce, for example. And then I have this whole bag of like little bits and bobs that are necessary for your kitchen. I have this strainer spoon, this three piece set, which is like a spatula, some tongs, and another kind of spoon. My very pretty MS Time for Tea tea towel, a Sainsbury's peeler, a soft grip sharp knife, an array of cutlery, and a measuring jug. Don't mind the fact that this is all in a VS bag, by the way, they're just very handy. <laughs> Final kitchen bits that I am taking are these pink washing up gloves, a sponge that is also has a touch of pink to it, a grater and a very small but very very handy chopping board. Also taking an array of stationary bits which include this very big lined notepad from Sainsbury's. Um, I will probably be taking a calculator even though my degree does not really need a calculator but I just think it's a handy thing to have and I also have this lovely box full of pens and other useful bits and bobs. In here we have highlighters of a multitude of colours, um, some very handy little sticky notes, more sticky notes, more sticky notes, also elephant sticky notes which are very very cute. This is from my sister for my birthday or for Christmas once. Um, I have my Ikea scissors which are just super super handy. Um, I have an array of Cambridge pens, um, some fine liners, some Parker pens because they're superior pens. Some little pencils. I also have a Parker pencil, um, which is like, it looks like a pen, but it's a pencil. Um, and then I also have these Morris & Co. Um, colouring pencils. So this is just for when I find a moment to have a creative outburst and I fancy colouring it. A whole host of bathroomy bits. 
So I'm just going to start off with all these lovely, lovely towels. These are some base towels. They're all really soft because they're all new. These are two Ralph Lauren towels, which I thought I'd treat myself. And they're really soft and they're all this sort of grey theme because I thought it would match my uni room. I have a laundry bag, which is from a hotel. Um, I think this is just going to be a very useful laundry bag to have. And I also have this bag full of little bathroom bits. So this is like cotton pads, a new baby pink toothbrush because I thought that would make me smile, some lovely new toothpaste, um, oh my god there's just so much stuff in here, a loofah, I think that's from the body shop, um, Bayless and Harting hand wash, um, some makeup removers from Clinique, some Jack Quills body um, washes and body scrubs, some M&S rose deodorants because I really love those, um, a charcoal face scrub, a these are from Good Things, or I think that's what they're called. Um, this is a face lotion. Some of the White Company balms, because they just smell so, so nice. Um, a Sanctuary scrub as well, because it just looks beautiful. And I thought, you know, treat yourself. Um, two Body Shop face washes. These are really great. They're tea tree, and that is obviously excellent for your skin. And I also have the toner to go with that. And then an array of Clinique little face um, creams because they're just a very handy size. <laughs> and I also have, I'm laughing because this is a little Bulgari soap for like a pajama drawer or something. And it just smells so, so lovely. I mean, who has one of these? My mum just gave it to me. I thought it'd be a lovely thing to take with me. Oh, and three other things worth mentioning are this Kath Kidson body lotion, which smells so lovely. It's so girly and I really like it. And then these two Molten Brown body washes. I love Molten Brown. I think it smells delicious. So this is pink peppercorn. And this is like, this is a coastal one. This is like sea fennel and cypress. They smell so, so lovely. And they're such a treat to use. I want to take with me are some classic books. So I'm doing a sort of, English literary, arty, philosophy type degree. So I wanted to take some classics with me, including things like this, which is the Winnie, po Winnie the Pooh collection, um, but they're really heavy, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to take them, but I'd really like to. Obviously, whatever degree you're doing, you will probably take some things that are relevant to your degree, so that is why I was thinking of taking some classics, such as this. Um, this is one of my favorite children's books. Um, maybe some Moomin books, because I just think that they're super cute and I really, really like them. Um, I haven't read Northern Lights yet. I know everyone's read it and said that it's absolutely incredible. And this is a really special 20th anniversary edition that I picked up, so I'd really like to take this. Um, this is actually what I'm currently reading, which is Treasure Island. It's a fantastic book. Um, and this is just one of my favorite books ever. So I was thinking I might take this and I will also be taking these gorgeous faux fur cushions and this bed throw, um, which I've been filming on, um, just because they're so soft and cozy and I just want to make my room really homely so yes I'll be taking those as well as hopefully a handful of these amazing books. And the final things I'm going to show you that I'm going to be taking are my clothes. I'm going to start with this absolutely massive pile here. So this is just a couple of coats including a nice waterproof, I think this is from Next, this reversible very soft and fluffy very warm coat which is going to be so necessary for Cambridge weather and another th more thin waterproof I think it's it's probably regatta or something like that and then a camel scarf camel colors <laughs> not made of camel um some furry hats gloves cuffs things like that just for the winter weather I have my bathrobe this is from Topshop it has little ears on the hood in here as you can probably guess are my gorgeous VS pajamas. So if we just unwrap this, I have like my pink stripey satin pajamas, my lilac ones, and then I have a couple of tartan ones. So this is some red tartan ones and under there, there are some blue and pink tartan ones. Um, they're all just absolutely gorgeous. And I have like an array of like long ones and some shorts, just so whatever the weather is, I'll be comfy. And finally, in these bags, we mainly have shirts. This is a lovely Austin Reed shirt, some polo necks, because that is what I tend to wear. And here we have things like sports trousers, they're like fitness leggings, um, some dresses, skirts, and then at the bottom of that pile, there will be like my sweatpants and stuff, which I did feature on my 
clothing haul for uni, which I will link down below. And this is the final, final thing that I'm going to show you. It's currently in its dust bag, but this is an example of one of the absolutely gorgeous bags I'm going to take with me. And this is a, a lovely olive green Ralph Lauren handbag that's going to be, it's huge, so it's perfect to put all your lecture notes in. Um, I absolutely love it and I think you should take things that you absolutely adore with you so that you feel as at home as soon as you get to uni. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and you can even click that little notification bell and give it a nice big thumbs up. I intend to be doing some like weekly vlogs when I go to uni, so make sure that you're subscribed to catch up on all of those. I can't wait to see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.